I do believe you're allowed to listen to music, so I, I will keep listening to music. Okay, game number one. Let's start with our patented A3. It's D5, we'll go. it's going to have three. Now, this is five plus one, by the way. So because it's five plus one, it's a little bit different. I'm going to play B4 and Bishop B2. Just try to take some space on the queen side here pretty early. Uh, now, Yu Yi is actually pretty high rated. So trying to play this match on the silly side is a little bit... It's not so bad objectively, but like I could, I could actually gain a lot of rating points here because I'm playing someone pretty high rated if I can, if I can dominate. But the most important thing with five plus one is that five plus one is extremely slow. So basically, what it is is essentially like six, seven, eight minutes of just dilly dallying all over the place, and then, and then trying to um, use a lot of time in castles. Of course, I'll play Bishop B two. goes b6 now this is already see this is a good example where in a blitz game three plus one i would take immediately but i want to think here um because he plays b6 like I, the argument is that i played a3 and b4 normally when you get these setups normally you get them with like b3 bishop b2 but because i played a3 b i mean normal is like b3 bishop b2 e3 c4 and everything you get this structure but here in this position i have this structure with a3 b4 so because of the structure i assume i trade because b4 will stop c5 it's my assumption could be right could be wrong Takes with a knight, interesting. Could play d3 here. I can also go knight c3. Um, I have a feeling that taking might have been wrong, actually. But let's go knight c3. Keep it simple. I'm gonna play queen c2. Maybe target the diagonal. Maybe h4 somewhere in here. We'll see what he does. I can always take now. I can also go b5 here. See if I take, take b5. Yeah, let's go for this. I don't actually know if this is good. And objectively, in 5 plus 1, I should be moving a little bit slower. But whatever. It's game number 1. Who cares? Not me. Um, I don't know if B5 is right either. Probably not. I have a feeling I'm moving too fast here. But... I go knight d4, knight c5, knight c6, maybe. I I'm looking at knight c5, knight 6, take 6, queen d6, d4. And I think that's just winning. Um... I actually have a feeling I'm doing quite well here, weirdly enough. But I also have e4 to kick the bishop out of town. I also have knight c6. I mean, unless he has c5, maybe. Oh, he might have c5. He might have c5. Okay, he doesn't do it, so he lets me get knight c6, and... I don't know. I mean, this looks good to me, but what do I know anyway? Oh, this is actually a big mistake from him. Because after takes, takes, he... Oh, no. Takes, takes, takes. Oh, no. It's not a mistake. What am I smoking? I thought after takes, I could take. But then he just takes the rook. Okay, so we go on. Keeps going. Pretty straightforward situation here. Is this pawn good or is this pawn bad? That's all this comes down to. Um, Knight f6 logical. Uh, I can play d4. I assume bishop e2 makes a lot of sense here. I don't actually love my position, by the way. Um, like, actually really don't love it. Let's go here, hit the queen. I have this feeling that I'm moving too fast, but who cares? Let's go here and rook c3 or queen c3. Yeah, I'm definitely moving too fast. I can feel it. Like, for, if, if this is 3 plus 1, my time usage is, is completely fine. But 5 plus 1, I'm moving too fast. I'm definitely moving too fast. I still think I've... Oh, can I play a Bond Cloud with King E2? It's really early in the match, so I can afford to have some fun, probably. I mean, we are... I am a streamer, after all. Like, this is a fun match for me. So let's go King E2. Let's play a Bond Cloud. Why not? Let's play a Bond Cloud. Bring the Rook to the center of the board. Just play chess. Yeah, let's go D3. Stop E4. Later in the match, I probably wouldn't play like this. This is later in the match. I think I'd, I'd be a little bit more careful. We're so early that I feel it feels like the right idea. Queen b3, e4. No, so let's go queen c2, cover against e4. It doesn't actually stop e4 necessarily, but it's a move. Um, although I get rook d1 at the end too. It's okay. Goes knight d5. Um, I just have to make sure there are no tricks like rook c4. 
This is what I'm actually happy this is five plus one, at least temporarily, because this is where I need to use my time and not blunder. Rook b3 also a move here. Um, rook b3 may be better. Go queen c4. I think rook b3 is actually better to go queen c4. Yeah, let's go here so I can play queen c4. See, in the three plus one, I would have played rook c4. Actually, I kind of have to play this because I hang a3. Actually, rook c4 just hangs a3. Wake up, wake up, wake up. That's so bad. But in 3 plus 1, I would have played rook c4, hung upon an a3, and probably lost the game. So, yeah, once once I get rook c1 here, I, I guard, I have queen c4, and I can pressure the diagonal. I mean, it's not like it's winning or anything, but I think I'm starting to unwind this. I think I'm actually almost a little bit better here. So I can also go g3 and then create the fianchito for the bishop. Because g3 allows the e4, because then there's no knight f4 either. So, position's improving quite a bit for me here. Quite a bit. He goes h6, which I don't particularly love. Uh, rook c1 is a move g3 is also playable here i think g3 is actually a, just a good move because it stops any knight f4s if f5 i can definitely play e4 here i can also play rook c1 and queen c4 i mean i'm gonna go queen c4 at some point it's just do i do it now or not if i go queen c4 e4 bishop e4 queen g4 bishop f3 i just have to make very very be very careful there's no trick here I could also play rook b5, maybe. Hmm. Okay, queen c4 looks like the right move, though. As long as there's no trick. e4, bishop e4. Knight f4, though. Rook c1, queen h... I think I'm going to play rook c1, and then queen c4. He does have queen h3, but I, I assume he's not actually threatening to ever take. Okay, it goes there. So now, of course, I play queen c4 to pressure the knight. I have rook b5 to pressure the knight as well. I think rook b5 is a move. There's also e4, but I don't like e4. Um, I could play g4 maybe or h4. Okay, I think I'm just going to go h4. Just going to try to start pushing the p and expand on the king side a little bit here. Maybe I can create the flying V with this formation too. Goes queen e7. Reasonable move. Um, I have h5. I don't really love it. I have a4. a4, a5, rook b5, knight b4 doesn't look right. What I need to do somehow here is improve the position. I don't actually know how I'm supposed to do that. So I'm just going to play this quiet rook h1 move. Doesn't do anything, but I think I'm going to go g4, g5. Oh, he's queen e6 to force a draw. Oh. Uh. Plays queen e7, so he's happy to make a draw. Now, on one hand, I should be happy to make a draw here because um, I played a, a very silly, silly opening. But on the other hand, it's game number one. It's so early. I don't want to make it a draw. It's going to Fianchito the king to g2. Here, I don't see any tricks. Knight e3, I just take. e4, I just take. Yeah, as long as there are no, no tactics here, I should be fine. Only problem putting the king here is that in the end game, if he ever goes knight e7, I want my king in the center versus on g2. Goes there. That looks very slightly wrong to me. I don't know why exactly, but it feels wrong. Maybe I can go like, you know, queen g4, knight e7. Okay, let's go here. Oh, that's just a blunder. I just hung a pawn. What the heck? I just hung a pawn. He missed it. He could have played rook c6. Welcome to the Hikaru effect. Um, he could have played rook takes c6. I just hung a pawn. Okay, that <laughs> that's not that's not good. Uh, that's really not good. Okay, wait. So think, 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 think. Don't hang hang your house. Are you seven queen c3 maybe. It's not a threefold, right? Queen f6 is not a threefold. No. Okay. Um. B5, knight e7, bishop e4, maybe? Risky. Well, let's go for it. Why not? Let's play rook b5, attack the knight. He's going to move back. We'll go bishop e4. He does have queen e6, I guess. Yeah, now I go here. I have a classic wooden shield here. You can play a6, rook b3, b5, but it doesn't look right. He goes queen six. I feel like this is where I need to squeeze him on the clock a little bit. He's getting a little bit low on time. I mean, 
Oh, that's horrible. He's got G. Oh, no, I have G5. Wait, what am I smoking? I'm trying to sort of cheese him a little bit on the clock here. Go H5, maybe? Let's go H5 here. It goes a5 some point i want to play f4 or d4 it's just a question of when exactly i can always go back to b5 too how do i do this though we'll go here i need to get f4 in at some point c8 Wait, I think I'm better here. I'm better, but am I actually able to win this? I'm not sure that I can win this. That's the problem. Oh, wait. Wow. wow I'm low. Wait, I'm low too. What the heck? Wait, why am I so low on time suddenly? What the heck? I should have played D4, not F4. Why did I play F4? Blundered. I think I'm going to win now. And now I'm going to win. There we go, boys. One up, one down. Good first one with A3. Anderson opening to OP. Exactly what you need to do in 3 plus 1. Now, because I'm already up one game, I'm going to play very rock solid with black, at least at the start. Um, because this is where I want to be solid. And if he wants to play the four knights or something, he can't. Is he going to go bishop B5? He is. Now... I said I want to be solid, but do I actually want to be solid or not? This is what I lost to um, uh, Fedo Save in the World Cup, I think in 2017, 16, whatever it was. I can be solid or not solid. Bishop B4 is like the... Knight D4 is the sharp line that actually... I had this against Wesley in the uh, Global Chess Championship last, last year. I think last year. So that burned 13 minutes off the clock as well. So good, good start. Very, very good stuff. Um... Normally, white plays d3 first. I don't know if it matters, but I'm just going to castle. Okay, so yeah, we're going to get this one d6. Probably he'll take. Uh, let's go here. I can always go c6. I can also just play h6 first. Um, I think I'll play c6. Why not? Um, let's just go h6. I don't even know if this is necessary, but I just I don't want to allow something weird to happen. Probably it doesn't matter at all whether I play h6 or knight g6 first, because we're going to get the same position no matter what. And I'm probably marginally worse here, but it shouldn't be that bad. There's a classic Gucci piano setup here. Let's go bishop c7, of course. And take or play d5. Uh, bishop c7, maybe not right. Yeah, and I think I'm supposed to start pushing p on the queen side normally. This is marginally worse for me. That that much I do know. I lost something like this against Vichy and Anand. Let's go a5. Go B5. I know this is not correct, but I don't care. I'm just going to start pushing the P. Okay, I think I go Bishop E6 here. Target the pawn on A2. I think if Bishop A6, I just take and drop the queen. I actually think Yuya he misplayed this very slightly because he's not supposed to let me get the pawns all the way down like this, I don't believe. A little bit slow on the clock. I'm, I'm down to four minutes already, but it's five plus one. It goes knight of five. Oh. So he wants to go bishop h6. 
This could be a little bit scary, actually. This could be a little bit dangerous. Knight h7, maybe? h6, g6, queen h6, queen h6. I think knight h7 is okay, but I'm not sure. Think about this. Knight h7, d5. If I take, take knight f8, bishop h6, g6, queen h6. Queen e7. G4. Seems dangerous. Probably I should I should I should have gone queen seven queen of eight first. Probably. Anyway, let's see. So he, he has so he's played knight of five. So let's think. This is this is five plus one. So this is where I can actually afford to think. Queen h six e four. Wait, maybe I can take take here take 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 and then e four maybe. But takes takes here takes takes d e five d e five queen h six queen seven then g four then e four then g five. Doesn't look wonderful, but do I have anything else? No, I don't think I do. Don't really want to play it, though. That's the problem. Okay, if it loses, it loses. I don't care. I could play Knight of Four and Sack upon Pawn, too. But now nah, let's let's just go for it. If, if this is losing here at the sack, so be it. If this is just losing, actually, if he takes, do I, no, I don't have e e four queen g five. Doesn't work, so I have to take. So I'll pre move it. Cam looks good. Actually, I can see Yu Yangi's face. It's funny because I'm not actually a Zoom call. I like I, I have to look back. I have to look back at the zoom call, zoom call in the second camera. I can actually see his face. So if I want to see his expression, instead of actually looking forward normally to you guys, I'm gonna have to look back like every like every like five seconds. Hopefully the match doesn't get to a point where that matters. Because against somebody like Magus, that does actually matter quite a bit, especially when you're in like the three one and you're in the bullet section. Uh, having some idea of, of how he's feeling is very very critical. Okay, so Yang is using all all day here. Um, yeah, it goes for it. Take. Let's go here. I mean, if this is losing. It's losing, and so be it. I, I I don't really care. But I don't see the win. So if I get knight h, I mean, the only question is g4. Like the line that I was expecting is like g4, e4, g5, knight h7. Takes, 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 takes. takes. Knight d4, rook a6. And I'm down a pawn, but is it actually losing? I mean, white's extra pawn is double pawn. I'm not convinced. We'll see. I mean, of course, it very, it very easily could just be losing, but who cares? He's using a lot of time here, so... He's probably going to burn most of his time here, if I had to guess. Because this situation where either white is winning or white is not winning, and be because whatever he does, the situation will clarify. So uh, will clarify a lot in the next five moves. So he's going to want to move very quickly to try and clarify it, or not move quickly. He's going to use all his time because as soon as he makes his decision on which idea to go for, the position will become very, very clear very quickly. I suspect this is losing, by the way. I do suspect that probably a computer shows this is like plus three or plus four. Um, but we'll see. I don't, at least to me, for a human, it's not obvious. So if it's not obvious to me, then what's the big deal? Okay, so he does go G4 is what I expect. So I assume I play E4. G5, Knight H7 is, is line. Because if he doesn't play G5, I'm going to get Queen E5 or Rook D8. Yeah, I go here. Let's trade. Of course, I can't move my other knight to h7 because then f6 would lead to a lolly on g7. Famous checkmate named after Jean Battista Lolly, the Italian painter. Let's take and trade. And now I think I've. I, I mean, ah, he's got knight g5, which I didn't. Uh, I've got a3, maybe. Ah, he's knight g5. I only saw knight d4. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. That's actually more than a little unfortunate. Let's, do I have a. Wait, okay. If I go a3, he's got bishop b3. So I can't play a3. 
See, rook d8 may be a move, actually. Rook d8 takes, takes, knight e4 takes, takes, rook b2. Actually, actually, wait. No, then he's rook e2, bishop f4, bishop c1. Okay, I don't want to burn all my clock here, but I feel like an e3 takes, bishop b6. King f2, knight, knight d5, bishop e4, a3. Which b4, a3, takes, takes b4. No, that's no good. No, I think... I don't want to play, but I think it's the only move I have here, unfortunately. I really wanted to play e3. But I think after fe3... There might have been bishop g3, rook e2, bishop f4. Which I might have... Which might have been okay. Hmm... Hmm, whatever. Let's take. Goes king f1. Wait, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. I feel like this is wrong, and I don't know why. E3's got fe3. This feels slightly wrong. Um, If he gets four versus one, but the pawns are split wide, I'm trying. I'm trying to think about this end game. I also have rook d five here. I guess. What am I down here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. I'm only down a pawn here, so I could play rook d five potentially. Bishop e four, knight e four. Oh wait, if I go rook d five, bishop e four, I have rook d two. Aha. Yeah, yeah. Let's go here and target the pawn. pawn. Yeah, yeah. Because now on takes rook d two, rook d two, trade, trade. There's bishop f four. And then I'm, then I'm, I mean, it's probably still a draw with perfect play, but I'm not in danger. I think, I think King F1 might have been a big mistake, actually. Maybe. Maybe not the end of the world, but I think it was a mistake. See what he does here. Okay, so he takes with the bishop, so I go here, I hit the pawn. I'm still probably worse here, but am I actually losing? A3, I can take with a pawn. I mean, not trivial. This is not trivial for White to play anymore. I think I'm, I'm going to pull my, I'm going to pull a classic Magnus Carlson and draw this game. Wait a second. So if I take and play Bishop A5, I think there's just a draw. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to pull, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my classic uh, Magnus Carlson impersonation. Play a bad opening and pro well, he doesn't play bad openings normally, but typically, like when Magus gets a worse position, he's able to pull pull out a miracle draw, and now I just trade. Yeah. Go here, coordinate. Now, and the question is, we're only we are only one game in. Do I burn the clock here? Is also a funny question, actually. It's a funny question. Should I burn the clock down here? Burn another minute? We're down to sixty six fifty six. Should I burn the clock all the way down? I think I should just for uh, just because there's nothing quite like using using the shot clock to your advantage. So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna burn this I'm gonna burn the clock all the way down on purpose here. And it's pretty early, mind you. I mean, doing this in the second game of the match is like it's a little bit early for it. But again, you never know what's gonna happen. I assume on average, Yu Yangi's best chances should be in five plus one and three plus one, right? His best chance it should be in 5-1 and 3-1. So, like, because of that, because in 5 plus 1 and 3 plus 1, those are his best chances, I should actually just, um, I should try to take more time out of the 5 plus 1 portion. What was the capture? The last capture was on what move? Move 40, so move 90. Okay, so we have 30 more moves.
Okay. Now we get to run it out another 50 moves, of course. The capture was on move 83, so now I will burn another 50. Ooh, Bishop G5 F4 lose. <laughs> That'd be kind of stupid of me, actually. Uh, 83, so the next capture is move, um, next capture is move, uh, I can't do math, 93, 103, 113, 133, right? Yeah, 133. It's actually very hard to find a, spe a specific placement that's not a repetition, though, as I just realized. Actually, wait, when did he push H5? H5 was move 92. Sorry, he pushed H5. So now it's it's reset. So now it's uh it's um 142 actually, right? It's 142. And even though white has two extra pawns here, by the way, it's still a draw. I took three minutes off the clock though, right? It looks like I took three minutes. Okay, yeah. I t I, it was 66.58 when I said that. Right now it's 63 minutes, so three more minutes off the clock. Yep, all right. All right, there we go. We get the draw. Let's keep going. Took three minutes off the clock. Let's play A4. Play every move under the sun. Uh, let's play Knight F3. Okay, I think I'm gonna play B4 here. Let's let's play something different. Let's try to take space on the queen side as early as possible. I'm sure this is garbage, by the way, but who cares? Um, let's play C3. Do not try this at home, is what I would say. Um, this looks really silly, but we'll see. I can also still just Fianchito the, probably just Fianchetto my king or my bishop and then castle. Go D3. It goes to h6 logical I, I think question is what do i do here do i play like bishop a3 do i go knight of d2 or knight e1 i'm gonna go knight d2 because e4 i can just trade and go knight c4 maybe takes takes knight c4 what he does should be fine yeah 6150 left and i'm pretty sure i said 6658 or something like that let's play h3 so I was able to eat up a lot of time there off of the clock. Now, I have played A4, B4. So I, how do I justify it is the question. C4 is one way of justifying it. B5, C4 maybe. I can also go G4 and E4 maybe. Actually, maybe... Uh, no. I'm thinking maybe G4 and C4, but no. I don't really want to play G4 here. It feels kind of dank. Play A, nah, A5, A6, and C6 doesn't make sense. B5 is the only way to justify it. So let's go B5. Because now I can play C4 and expand and use the diagonal. Yeah, now I assume I can play C, uh, C4, E4. Could No, then G4. Let's go C4. Actually, maybe this is wrong. No, this is actually kind of wrong. But e4 takes take, okay it goes c6 he doesn't i can play a5 to try to create the classic connect um connect six if i can get a5 a6 it's a connect six right now it's only a connect five a knight c3 is logical bishop a3 very logical taking also very logical um knight c3 seems like a good move just over pressure use the diagonal use the knight and again somehow I've, I've everything is justified in terms of my opening here because a4 supports b5 i got the quick thrust with b4 b5 and i can go a5 a6 
So I got everything and then and then some. So it's it's very very pleasant. Very very pleasant position here. Expected that. Oh, he's got queen. No, queen a5. I have knight b3. No, I thought he had queen a5, but I have knight b3 to hit it. I could have traded pawns first two. Oh, after bishop before I could have traded. I mean, again, wait. Oh, I take. He's gonna take and take, but I have the two bishops. Interesting. G4 looks like a good move. G4 looks right here, but while it looks right. I could just play rook c i think i'm just gonna go rook c1 i still want to maybe take i want to keep all the tension alive he goes knight c5 now actually knight c5 is a good move i think i, I probably should have done something different than this i still have g4 okay now he's threatening knight d3 though so i actually i kind of have to go here to stop this now i can take and play knight a2 maybe takes 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 don't love it i don't really like my position here be honest might be one maybe might be one queen a5 I guess I'll go here I want to go here but after takes takes his knight b3 forking it so I can recapture and dodge the fork plays d4 interesting that's not the move I was expecting actually um it might be a good move but go here to trade the bishops He's got a great bash on c5. That's one problem that I have now. He's got this knight on c5. That's kind of all up in my business. It's yeah, I, I should definitely I should have traded in the center of the board. This was not right. I have knight b3. I can also just now nah, I misplayed this one. No, nah, no. Nah. Go here, stop knight c3. I'm down on clock. I've got a bad position. Not very good. A4 maybe not the best move. I think somewhere around here. Yeah, I think somewhere around here I was I was actually fine. What did I do wrong? I was actually fine there, but I, I've messed it up completely. Now I'm now I'm in a lot of trouble. For trade. Probably takes for the knight. I also had f4 maybe, but whatever. Let's go. Queen b3, maybe. I've got to pick up my speed here if I want to have any chance of uh any chance of swindling him specifically. thinking <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should actually take and play e3 or something like e3 here is a move I think e3 d3 f3 no f3 knight g3 e3 d3 rook d1 I could play e3 d3 takes maybe a knight d2 that's really asking for it, but is it, is it actually bad? I can play Rook D1 first and then E3 also. Wait, wait a second. Rook D1. No, then there might be... No, Knight C... Takes, takes. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to go for it. It's risky playing this, but I, I think it's actually the best play. Because right here I have a big problem. This pawn, the center and this pawn. If I can get rid of this weak E pawn... I should be fine. If takes, I think queen e3 is fine. There should be no fossils anywhere if he takes. So I'll pre-move queen e3 and we'll see what he does. I don't really expect him to trade, but d3 is also very committal because after takes and knight d2, it's not trivial actually how black is supposed to win there. In fact, I'm not even sure black is winning there, oddly enough. Bum, 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 bum. It was B6. Okay, so he doesn't do anything. The tension remains in the center. He plays B6. So if I take, he's going to take with the C pawn, of course. Don't have F3. I don't have rookie one. I could just play rook E1, maybe. One. I think rookie one looks right. I'm going to have to trade at some point, probably. My knight on b1 is so miserably bad here. I can maybe take and play knight d2 at some point. 
Not a good position, though. That much is clear. I'm trying to induce d3 or something. So he does go rook d8. So I think I'm going to have to go for this. I don't really like this at all, but... Do I actually... Wait, do I have f4 here? f4, d3, f5, maybe? f4... Wait, f4. I don't want to burn too much time here. It's risky, though. If I take, take, and play f4, d3, f5... No, f4, knight, c5. Takes, takes, takes. Should be 492, bishop b b7. I don't like it. I'm gonna go for it. This might be bad, but I'm gonna go for it. This is where I'm gonna look at the cam and see. He looks pretty stoic on the on the cam. Yeah, he, he looks pretty stoic. Knight g3, I have rook f3. We're getting into another scramble again, though, which is which is always beneficial to me. If I can lock the bishop with f5 behind the chain of three. What does that do I could play F actually F5 here is not that not insane no actually it is because Rick F1 there's Rick E3 I go here what am I missing here he's gonna have to take with Queen H4 wow I did not see that move um I feel like I'm back in the game but I don't know how to punish him here um King H2 looks like the correct move maybe the only move in fact Yeah, I've got to start picking up my speed here. That, that's what I have to do. Um... No, I just blundered, I think. No, I blundered. But he's getting low on time. Got to pick up the speed here. Yeah, this is not a good game for me. He's a lot. He's got twelve seconds, so. Wait, no, knight c three. Nah, I'm going to lose this game. Wait. What's he doing, actually? What is he doing? Oh, I, oh my god, why did I do that, actually? What the heck? Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, that's so stupid. Yeah, yeah that was stupid. Uh, I threw that with AB6. I could have played King G3 and drawn the game. Why did I take on B6? So stupid. Let's play something else. Ah, uh, it's annoying. I could have I could have played King G3 and I would have drawn that game. So stupid. All right, let's reset. Uh, let's just take. I mean, even when I was completely lost, he still found a way to blunder, and then I played AB6. Not smart. Yeah, A takes B6 was such a stupid move by me. I should have played King G3. Why didn't I go King G3? Rook A2, Rook D3 would have been an easy draw. That was stupid. Very stupid by me. 
Because he, he completely blundered a totally winning position. All right, let's go here. I'll castle next move. The queen c7. Yeah, I just need to move fast now. Just pick up the speed. Okay, let's go here. Get rid of a set of bishops. All right. Already the advantage is kind of gone for him. If I played king g3, I would have won I, I would have drawn that game for sure. Maybe there's still bishop c4. Check. No, I would have drawn that game for sure if, if I had played uh, if I had played king g3 instead of a takes b6. At any rate, it's in the past. Let's try to reset and focus. I guess I'll go to e8. It's actually a bad move. So there's knight g5, knight h7, but I guess I have g6. Queen g5. Okay, one thing I need to do here is not like lose my mind. I'm a little bit annoyed that I, I messed up that game. Play h6. Like I'm actually a little bit annoyed. Because he, he completely messed it up to where I should have drawn, and I still found a way to blunder anyway. Uh, my knight belongs on f6, I think. Let's see. I do have f5. <sighs> F5 looks quite wrong, but I mean, it, it looks wrong. So think about how I reset this. I can go knight b8 d7. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Here, here. How do I play against this bishop? I could play g6 maybe. A little bit risky though. I'm walking into some attacks. Let me think about what I want to do here. Okay, I'm moving too slowly in this game as well. Actually, I'm trying to figure out why didn't I just play e5? Why did I play nonsense? Really don't want to play f5, but I'm actually struggling to find a better move. I'm gonna play it. I'm struggling to find something better. I really don't like f5, but I, I actually I'm struggling to find an idea if I play anything else. So here, queen d7. Oh, queen d7 was actually probably just better to go rook f6. Because now I can't play it in one go. I'm gonna go here and rook f6. So I still have knight d8 somewhere as well. I'll go knight e5. I'll play like rook f8, maybe. Yeah, I, I just I think I need to move quicker. I'm, I'm moving a little bit too slowly in these games, and it's if I can get him low on time, he's gonna lose every scramble. So I really just need to move quicker. G4 is not really a threat. I'm trying to find some way to reroute my pieces, but I don't know how to. Here. Take with the queen still. See what he does. Last game was so ridiculous. Uh, why, why did I not play king g3? So insane. It was bishop b5, which um, looks wrong. No, it's quite wrong. I have knight g6, knight f4 here, I think. I mean, it's not like this is winning or anything, but he missed knight g6 for sure. Actually, this might just be very good for me. Knight g6, knight f4, rook g6 looks really bad. He's got queen h4. And somehow he's okay. They're amazing. Somehow he's still okay after queen h4 in this endgame. Yeah, of course he finds it. But I still should go for this. I mean, my, I've got a knife on f4, as Gary Kasparov would say. A knight on f4 is worth at least a queen. So, wait. Oh, wait, actually, is this okay too? I just got bishop f1. That was fairly stupid. Oh, am I actually in trouble now? Maybe not. Maybe I can go here and hold it. I 
thought I could play rook g6, but bishop f1 just holds all the glue. Not, not, not so good. If it was h4, I mean, I'm a little bit surprised by h4, because I, I assume I go g5 here and just attack. I mean, he's inviting me to attack, and if g3, knight h3, I get... If g3, I have knight h3, g4, and then f4, and then he just loses, I think. Although, again, I'm moving a little bit too quickly. I should be using... I should actually be using my time here. But I assume that it's just bad. Actually, g3, knight h3, king h2, I have f4, which should win as well. Can move it? This looks very bad for him, but we'll see. He's using a lot of time as well. 44 minutes to go. I think this is going to be the last game. I think this will be the last game before. I think there's a break after the at, at four at the halfway mark in each time control. Bishop F1, logical. So I could play G4 here. I mean G4 and G wait, G4, Queen G3, Rook H6, Rook E5. Queen g3, king f7, rook e5, knight g6, maybe? Oh, it feels like this should be winning somehow. It really does. I mean, g4 looks right. G but g4, queen g3, rook h6, there's also rook f3. g4, queen g3, rook g6, rook e5, knight h5, knight g7. I mean, it's still good. Oh, I feel like I should be winning, but I don't know why or how. Could just go king g7. I mean, that's a safe move. So then g3, knight g6, queen e2. I don't have anything again. Wait, wait, maybe I have g4, queen g3, rook h6, rook f3, queen c7, rook f4, queen h7, queen f4, queen h7. I'm going to go for it. I hope this works. Oh, it doesn't work. He's f3 at the end. Oh, no. He's f3 at the end, which I missed. Shoot. I, I was going to go for this. Oh, he plays that, which is not what I expected either. Um, Wait. Wait, that looks... Let's go here in F4, maybe. I think knight... G... I should have put the knight on G7, probably. I think I'm putting my knight on the wrong square. Because I want to go G3, F4, and just crush him. So let's go here, I guess. Okay, queen B5. Doesn't do anything, I don't think. I'll just go here. Still holding all the glue. Really, it's about whether I can activate my knight and mate him on the H file before he gets like G3. Because G3, F4 is bad. If I get Rook H8 and then Rook H6 with double stack, he loses on the H file. I think I'm actually probably going to win this game just because of the situation on the board and the clock. Because my moves are too easy. I have the very obvious mate threats. He has to find some plan in the center and it just doesn't look like it exists. Finds queen c5, though, which I think is a heck of a move. Um, yeah, I think queen c5 is the only move maybe that does not lose on the spot. Actually, that's how bad I think his position is. I really don't want to trade queens, but I might have to. I don't want to. Is there any way to dodge it? Queen c5 is a very, very good move from you, Yankee. It's like the only move where... But um, but um. I'm going to gamble here. I'm going to play queen B. I'm going to actually gamble and go for the mate. I'm going to gamble here and trust that in the scramble, I can beat him. I, I'm sure that queen B8 is not the right move. I'm like 95% sure. But I'm going to go for it with rook H8, knight F8, rook H6. I'm going to argue that he can't defend the position. The amount of time he has left. He goes C4, so wait. So I have rook H8. Now let's go here. This is exactly what I'm playing for. I'm going to go 97 when he moves rook c3. That doesn't work, does it? Don't I just have f3? 
Yeah, I go F3 and I just lolly him with Rook H6. Or did I just blunder again? Wait, no, I have King F6, right? Ooh, I have King F6. I very nearly just blundered. He loses. He just he's he's getting uh he's getting sauced by the double stack on the H file. Still a game after Bishop G2. I take and go Rook H1. He gets made. Yep. There we go. GG. All right, I think we're on the break after this game, right? That game makes up for the previous one. Um, let, let me check. I think that's game. Let me see. Is that game? Or no, okay, whatever. They'll, they'll tell us if, if, it's, if that's not it. Oh, that is it. Okay, so we're on the break. That game makes up. I mean, the previous game I came all the way back. Um, probably I should. I should have. I mean, probably I should have lost the previous one. Or I. I yeah, not lost. I'm my. my uh, I don't know what I'm saying. But basically, that one I should have saved it. I messed it up. And this one I should have lost and I won. So it's all relative. Yeah. Okay, so it's two and a half, one and a half. We're on the break. Uh, so I'm going to go use the restroom quickly and we will be right back. In game A4, B4, you're winning due to rookie three. I was winning due to rookie three where I can pull up chat in between the games, obviously. I was winning. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm actually garbage. You know, that's ridiculous. You know why that's ridiculous? Because I saw rook d2, rook d5, and ba7. Oh, I'm at. Oh my God. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually terrible at chess. Okay, in that case, yes, I'm very happy that I won the final game. Oh my god, that's so bad. That's ridiculous. That's pathetic. Okay, I'll be right back. That's pathetic. so bad yeah i mean that's pathetic because rookie two takes takes b7 he can't stop the pawn from queening that's that's pathetic that's absolutely pathetic 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 no 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 other way to explain it that's absolutely pathetic yeah pathetic absolutely pathetic big shout out to nearly uh 8, 000. you guys were watching this very fine um very fine uh it's very fine um what's it wednesday or what is today today's monday yeah that is so bad that, that's ridiculous by me how did i not play rookie three i mean to be fair is bishop b7 which wins but yeah that's pathetic uh we're, we're on a oh sorry wait the match timer is supposed to be reset no or no it's a break oh it says break below it it says break okay I didn't read the chat between games. Thank God. If I could have read, if I could have read chat between games, I would have been tilted out of my mind in game four. Just, those of you guys who are wondering, we are on a very slight delay, so we're, we have a 15 second delay. But yeah, like if I if I had realized that I had missed a win in that game, I would have been tilted out of my mind. It was still tilted, but not as much as I would have been. Yeah, if if, if, I, if I had realized that in between, luckily I just accepted his challenge right away. Luckily, no, luckily I accepted his challenge. But yeah, I mean, geez, yeah. so bad so so bad anyway we're up two and a half one and a half we keep going score is two and a half one and a half you'll see it pop up when the next game begins you guys but that was pretty bad pretty 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 bad pretty bad stuff that's that's all that's all that, that's all that needs to be said um yeah very very bad stuff Let's see what are the markets doing Oh wait, today's Labor Day. Never mind. Sorry, what am I doing? Today's Labor Day. Nothing's nothing's open. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're on a two and a half minute break. That was absolutely pathetic. I cannot believe that I didn't play. Oh, I, how did I not play rookie three? That's so bad. I mean, that's just so. What's wrong with me? And you know what else? If if, if I had played it, he would have tilted out of his mind. And the match would be over. Because he was winning that game like a million different ways. Yeah, I, I was also supposed to take first. Takes on Rook A3 like this. And I think I would have drawn this game probably, to be honest. But whatever. Whatever. It, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, you can see the time we're taking down for what the break is. The break is a 1 minute 45 second break. And then we, we start up again. Yeah. 
keep playing cheesy openings i i have a theme for the for the match today so i have a theme ding will win that cc entirely possible i don't know if ding's on my side of the bracket or he's on magus actually wait ding i think plays magus in the next round right i think ding and magus play on 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 round two yeah yeah no no it's uh it's, it's break time it's a one minute one, one minute and 20 seconds till um till we resume the match that's what it is so yeah yeah ding has to get, yeah ding has to get through magnus i believe in round number um i think it's get through him in like round number two or something i mean it's pretty rough it's pretty rough pretty pretty rough so all right anyway we keep going you guys my openings have more holes than swiss cheese <laughs> Oh, Ding plays Arjun. Yeah, they're, I think they're very. They're like no easy matches. Um, yeah, yeah, they're no. They're no easy matches. So, yeah. So yeah, tough matches everywhere though. Actually, I should start drinking some of my coffee. Maybe that'll wake me up a little bit more. Ding can do it. Of course, Ding can do it. So yeah. Magnus plays Vita. Magnus will almost certainly win that match. That'll be a very tough match. And the one plus one, I think it's going to be difficult. So, yeah. So, all right. Okay, so we're on a break. Timer's done. T audio chat. I'll see you on the other side. And, okay, let's get going. Next game should start now. How did I not play rookie three? <sighs> I got to be careful not to actually tilt myself off the break uh, uh, after that. Okay. Go B4. Let's see. Okay. This might be a, very similar to the last game. I'm going to I'm not going to play knight f3 here. I'm just going to go C4. Okay, let's play C4 here. Maybe just A3, simple chess, guard the pawn, of course. I could trade here and play like d4 I think how do I want I think I'm just gonna play a simple like knight f3 and bishop e2 maybe he'll probably play h6 to create luft but maybe not okay let's just castle I might play d4 I might not I'm not really sure he goes knight d7 now I just played knight d7 and take and play d4 maybe just takes knight c3 keep it simple here Go C6, logical. I could play B5 here. Uh, Rook C1 looks like a... Pr Rook C1, maybe, actually... D3, Bishop D6, or D3, Rook E8. B5, C5, D4, C4. That structure's probably better for black. Hmm. Could play... Actually, no, I think I'm just going to go D3. Keep it simple. I'm going to go D3, Queen B3, Rook C1, Rook D1. We have 38 minutes, 38, 16 to go. It was a6 i'm a little surprised by that move i don't really like it maybe you can play b5 somewhere but i feel like i'm getting some uh some queen side pressure here like knight c5 queen b3 rook d1 i feel i feel like it's very easy for me to play this position basically okay queen b3 knight c5 i think queen b3 makes sense here Oh, he does a B5. Ah, he's got B5. Stupid. Very stupid. Well, maybe knight C5 is still fine, but I should have played knight C5 right away. What am I doing? Luckily, this is not a structure that Yu Yang he particularly plays that often. So, it was rook B8. He doesn't play B5, which is interesting. Um, so, I could play knight C5 here. I could also just go bishop D4 maybe just to grip the C5 square more. I also have a wooden shield as usual. So... I kind of like my position. Rook D1 makes sense. Knight C5 again makes sense. I think I'm going to go Knight C5 here because now after I take and I go Queen C3, I assume I'm better. I don't actually know if I'm better, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good at least. His bishop on H7 also not very good. Like he's staring at a pawn. Bishop doesn't have tons of scope. So in the end game, this bishop might be a problem. It goes Knight E5, logical. But obviously trade. This feels like the classic minority, the minority report. Uh, let's go like 
wait is there d4 or d4 e4 and f4 wait so let's go a4 maybe queen b2 here sorry i did i just say i said minority report this is like the, I, I make that i make that mistake all the time it's like the minority uh attack uh the minority attack in the queen the queen's game decline with a4 b5 yeah it goes knight d7 i expected that um the bishop on h7 is not great i mean i can just keep playing for the minority the minority attack um Takes takes d4 v a6 f d e3 a7 or k8 I could also just trade and go d4 b5 but d4 opens up the square if I play d4 so I don't really want to play d4 here I mean I could just go b5 too maybe just b5 but then d4 uh takes takes d4 I have to think about this BA6 D3 line. I really don't want to play D4. If I don't play D4, I'm not sure how I get the this. Huh. I, mean, I could play Queen C3, Queen D4 too. Yeah, maybe this is the way to do it to attack the rook. So on Knight C5, I can just take. And when he goes back, maybe I put the queen on d4 here so he'd never get to d4, maybe. Maybe this is the way I should play. I don't know if it is, but it seems okay. He might have actually been able to play d4 takes, rook d5 takes, and bishop d3, maybe. Maybe. Maybe he could have played that. I don't know. Um, he goes rook g5, which the rook is, feels kind of off sides here somehow. Question is, do I play queen d4 or trade? Queen d4 looks right because takes takes and I have rook b1 and he's got problems. His rook is just so off sides. I think rook g5 is a serious mistake from uh from uh from you, Yankee. I think it's a very serious mistake from you. Or yeah, not to make the pun because of course everyone knows about Christopher Yu, but yeah, I think I think you you went wrong with rook g5. So you, me, he, well, what's the what's the movie? It's you, me, and Dupree. Is that the old movie with Owen Wilson? Although maybe I went wrong too. Maybe I was supposed to play f4. Probably supposed to play f4 and then queen queen here because now the bishop's getting back out. I'm still probably better, but that was a mistake, I think. I could go queen f4 right away though. I'm forced him to. Well, but then he has bishop h3, bishop f3. Could play h4 and bishop h5 maybe. Hmm. I still have f4 too. Like. Time should not matter that much because I feel like, wait, if I go, F, wait, 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 wait a second. If I go F4, Rook G6, Bishop H5, F6, I don't have anything. Thinking too long, actually, um, in this game, but I am going to go here. Bishop H3, Bishop F3, or did I just blunder? I think I just blundered. Oh, no, I just blundered. That's so stupid. Okay, he doesn't... He had bishop h3, bishop f3, and knight e5, I think. But he missed it. Okay, now, of course, I take with the pawn. So I have rook b1. And I try to use the file here. And this looks very, very good for me. This pawn on b7. I've got h4 to hit the rook and the bishop. He has bishop h3, bishop f3. But then he doesn't have knight e5 to under, undermine the bishop on f3. So he played the wrong order. He inverted it. And now I think that I'm in really, really good shape here. I can go king h1... I, go, I think I should go king h1 first so that he doesn't get rook c7 and bishop c8 to guard. Goes there. I can always play h4 if I want. So rook b1, pressure the pawn. Of course, he'll go rook c7. Logical. Rook b4, guard this way. Line up the double stack. He's going to go bishop c8 to guard at some point. But this feels like a Magnus special again. Time to play like a L Magneto would. Um, I assume Rook B1 should be correct. Although I gave him Queen E7, maybe not so great. Yeah, this looks like an L Magneto special. Of course, the moment I say L Magneto, I start thinking about Marvel Snap, and you know, you think about Snap and then playing Magneto. 
playing Magneto for what's it 12 it's 12 right 12 12 I think is what it is and then you move you move the three and the four cards over and then you win on the left or the center I don't know why I'm starting to think about Marvel snap when I'm playing chess but I am um okay I have Queen b8 here which is maybe a move I also have d4 somewhere yeah why am I thinking about Marvel snap when I'm supposed to be playing chess it's very strange uh very strange thinking too long again I think I'm gonna go here though actually why am I down so much time I just realized why am I down so much time the heck insane actually insane girl okay let's see what we get here um yeah Magneto's a bit yeah like that that, that Mag Magneto on the final turn is a really uh it's really powerful like I feel like in general with that deck if you play if you play Magneto yeah it's either Mag you play either Magneto or you play Odin right if you if you get if you get if you get one of those like that deck is really good though uh, let's play queen b8 i know half the chat has no idea what i'm talking about but i'm talking about marvel snap um which is a game that i played on stream in the past and it's like one of the cards that you can get at the end is magneto and if you get magneto he's you either play magneto or you play odin and you generally you win the game um again why am i so slow <laughs> i'm like I'm, I'm having too much fun here so here i could play h5 or bishop g4 i assume i should go bishop g4 after rookie six gonna have to play h5 so I get h5 he's he has problems on the king side I don't know why I'm so chill though because like I am actually a little bit low on time here should have played queen f4 actually um I'm gonna play h5 Not playing this particularly well, but it's still playable. I might have to make a draw here. I think I have to make the draw. I've got no time. I mean, he can make the draw, but I, I don't care. It burns more time. I think I was actually probably in, in good shape in this game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, probably I was better for like a couple moves, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, let's get back to being rock solid again because I do have the lead I mean I need to remember this is a match and as I said before if I keep the score close until um if I keep the score close until uh the bullet I'm just gonna run away with it so that's the main thing I need to remember now the your takes is supposed to be the correct line I mean I I, I had a game against Vasily Ivanchik in this in um where was it in something I'm gonna play 97 it's not the right line right move but I'm gonna do it anyway um in uh the world team championship in bursa turkey in 2010 i believe it was where vasily played this i don't believe that bishop c4 is correct actually but if i go knight h6 he's gonna go knight h4 to trade the knights is king h8 bad here or not is what i'm trying to remember i'm tempted to play king h8 f5 and there's queen h5 I could just move my knight to like e8 also or d7 98 d4 doesn't look particularly exciting but okay let's have some fun let's go to 7 let's let's keep it simple let's see what he does he's got two b shops but I can play queen e8 king h8 marginally worse but nothing out of the nothing out of the realm of uh I mean this should be relatively okay 27 minutes to go Plays knight h4, interesting. Um, I go king h8, queen h5, f6. I should be fine. 
Takes, takes. Knight of five, F6. No tricks. I don't see any tricks. At least I hope I'm not blundering somehow. If I get F6, I should be fine. Like, queen H5, F6. There's no knight G6. I cover the square. I think I'm okay once I go F6. You know what else I realized? Like, oh, no, H6, he takes me as knight G6. No, H6 was not a move. So king H8 must be the right move then. Um, so after takes, takes, queen H5, I don't see it. I think I'm okay here. And the good thing is he's going to have to burn a lot of clock here to try and figure it out. Because if he doesn't burn his clock in this position, um, if he doesn't burn his clock here, he could end up actually much worse very quickly if I get F6, knight B6, and D5 or F5. So he's going to spend a lot of time. And I basically, it's a reactionary situation where I react to whatever he does. And, and, and in Blitz, a lot of times, that's actually what you, the situation you want to be in, where you're reacting to your opponent's moves. So you don't actually have to think a long time, but you just react and play a move in, in a couple of seconds. This doesn't look great. Um, I mean, if I go Queen G5, he gets H4, which I assume is his whole idea. So I'm just going to go here. I could have played Queen D8 too. So, I mean, he gets this Knight D5 silly trick available, but... Again, am I really supposed to be worried about this? Like, this just doesn't look very, um... Yeah, this just doesn't look very exciting for white. It goes back. I mean, I could play a5. Don't know if it's necessary. I can even just go, like, queen g6, maybe. I mean, my position looks completely fine here. He doesn't get even get to build his big white center. He plays a4. Of course, I go a5. Or did I just allow f4 like an idiot? I did. Why did I do that? So stupid. I should have gone to h6, not g6. What the heck was that for me? Yeah, I totally bungled this. This is not what I wanted to do. Uh, I guess I'll just take. Go here. Play c6, maybe d5. I'm probably going to have to sack a pawn or something here in the center of the board. Yeah, I'm not playing this very well, as usual. And now my knight's not even on the right square either on b6. Why did I allow F4? That was so insane by me. Definitely not sharp, which is not helping matters here. Um, play Knight D7, though. There's no... Go here. I'm going to play Knight D7. Oh, wait. Knight D7 is just a blunder. What am I doing? No, I'm actually going to just lose this game because I'm, I'm not spotting moves at all here. What the heck was that? thought I could play knight d7, but he just trades it and I get mated on h8. Very, very poor. This is pretty ugly. Pretty, pretty ugly. Okay, let's see. Is there something? Why did I do this? It's just insane. I might just sack a pawn here. Check king there, f6. Yeah, I think I'm just going to sack a pawn here. I'm just going to sack a pawn, play the position, try to draw a slightly worse end game if I can. But I am not playing good chess at the moment. That was ridiculous. Right, right around here, if I just go like queen h6, I'm completely fine. Um, trade check let me go f6 here and then maybe queen b2 maybe queen c7 not good chess though from me um i could trade i can also just go queen c7 i guess to guard the pawn i don't really like queen d4 actually i think it's a it's completely fine but it's i'm gonna get a chance i think to maybe save the game now with like rook e8 f6 i can play queen a5 here to hit the pawn Maybe I should have played b5, perhaps, but whatever. I'm going to play queen d2 here, maybe. i also just go rook b8 and b5. Um, queen d2 looks like a move. Let's go here. Trying to complicate the situation. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of it, but I'm trying. Rookie one, of course. Yeah, and I, I already feel like a total idiot again. Um, 
That was ridiculous. I'm still only up one game. I feel like I'm up like two or three just because of the flow of the match. Play A3. I mean, I guess I should just play B6. I think I'm just going to start moving a lot quicker now. I'm just going to try to pick up the speed here. I miss queen b5. That's a good move. Let's go here. Queen g4, maybe. Man, eh, no. Queen f4 is better just because I keep more squares. G4 didn't cover anything. Check. I'm going to go queen c3, I think. Oh, he's got queen b4, which I missed, of course. Ah. <sighs> Not playing good chess at all. It's a little bit flat. I'm just going to keep moving pretty quickly here, though. I think moving quickly is very critical. Let's go here. I don't even know if A6 is probably wrong. But if I get B5 in... Their chances to save the game, actually. Oh, he went to b2. I thought he was going to go b3. I could have gone queen a5 there, I guess, but. My position's improving more than I deserve. Let's put it that way. Still not good, but it's, it's improving a lot more than I deserve. So I can go b5 if I want to. a5 or k8. I mean, I'm going to go for it. I mean, a5, rook a8, and queen c7 looks pretty scary to me. But maybe it's okay for white. Again, it feels like it feels like Yu Yang is kind of misplaying this a little bit, though. Go, he goes for it. Wow. Okay, so wait. So if I play rook a8. Okay, one. Rook a6. And then rook a8. I mean, this doesn't look right, actually, at all. I mean, I'm sure that I'm still much worse, but it's getting a little bit tricky. If I play rook a8, what's... I also have b4 now, too, which is... I also have rook c8. Like, wait a second. I feel like... Wait a second. I feel like I should be okay here if I'm precise. I don't know why I feel like that, but I feel like I should be. I'm going to go queen f7, queen c2, rook e7. Wait a second. I think I go B4. This should be right. No, it's not right. That's a bad move, too. I think I should have just played Rook A8 there. And it's got Rook E4, and already now, again, I'm feeling kind of stupid about what I've done. Not playing good chess. Not playing good chess at all. Let's go here. Does he have C3? No, he doesn't have C3. This is a very critical game. If I, if I survive this game, I think there's a good chance that he, he might just tilt off the rest of the match. Wait, he blunders. Or he's got Rook C4. Well, Queen F2 and Rook G5? I mean... Wait a second. Yeah, wait a second. Queen F2... Yeah, I can also take and draw the game. Okay, great, 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 great. And I have Rook... No, Rook G5 doesn't do anything. No, I just trade and take, and it's... Can't lose. Let's look at the cam. Okay, he's not, like... He's not frustrated, it doesn't look like. Um, is he frustrated? It doesn't look... He, uh, there's no There's no visible emotion on his face. Yeah, no visible emotion. Okay. Now, I can trade and make the draw... I feel like this is where I need to kind of try to win the game, though. I think I need to try and tilt him with, like, queen d2. I think I need to try and beat him in this game, basically. How do I do it, though, is the question. 
No easy way. Let's go here. How do I do it, though? Any blunders, and now... Okay, now I get to play, like, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> Oh, why did I allow that? What the heck? Oh, did I just... Oh my god, I just missed the one check and I just did nothing. Wait, no, I... I did I dodge a check? I did. I have G5. There we go. Magnus won this against, I think, uh, Fabiano, if I remember correctly, in the GCC. Oh, it's king g3. Wait. No, oh, I go here and king here. He flagged. There we go. We got the win. It's like I said. I think I, Fabiano lost. Magnus beat Fabiano when he when he was 9 out of 9 the first game of the second day. What happened? Okay. Now, as you guys have noticed, I played A4, A3, B4, and B3. So we just continue to play our solid pawn pushes. My intention in this match is to try and play every single first move that exists in the game of chess. Now, problem is the match is going so slow that I don't think I'm going to get anywhere near that. But that was my intention. I want to play A3, A4, B3, B4, C3, C4, D4, D3, E4, E3, F4, F3, G4, G3, etc. Um, but yeah, now we're up by two. Like I said, I had a feeling if I could win that game, he might tilt off the rest of the match. We're going to see if he actually does tilt or if he has really, really good nerves. Okay, now we're going to try to play like Magnus Carlsen, that stupid scrub, who um, basically all he does is play end games, no queens on the board. Uh, for whatever reason, nobody seems to be able to play them as well as he does. But, um, you know, as I, I think there's this, there, there is a saying, actually, jokes aside. It's, um, what's the saying? It's flattery. What is it? Flattery is the most sincere form of imitate or... Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery or something like that. So, okay, he plays 97. So clearly this bro has been at home studying chess because I think Maxime Matlikov played this against me in my perfect title Tuesday run when I went 11 out of 11. On the flip side, the good news is now we're headed for a very, very slow, um, very, very slow middle game where I'm just going to be able to eat up a lot of clock again. Maybe I can play 94. This is 5-1, so I actually have a lot of time to think here about what I want to do. 94, 95, maybe like C. Okay, let's just let's just go for it. Why not? Yeah. Uh oh. Wait. You Yankee? Oh no 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 no. He's disconnected. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. No. Not like this. No no. Not like this. Not the Great Firewall of China. No no no. Okay, good. He's back. Oh no no no. Not like that. I don't want to win like that. No 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 no. That's not right. That's. I don't want to win like that. That's not how you want to win. That would be really tragic, like a pretty close match, and he like gets disconnected and loses, and it's like, why? He still might be disconnected, though. Let me look at the cam. No, it looks like he's still there. So maybe that's a chess.com glitch. Who knows? Although, actually, I think Yu Yangi is the only Chinese player who... During the pandemic, he was actually outside of China. He was playing tournaments um, all over Europe. So I think Yu Yang Yi might be someone who doesn't live in China. So it would actually be kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I don't think he lives in China. I think he, I think he escaped. Um, actually, I should be careful how I phrase that. But I think he's he's outside of outside of China. Let's take and go King E2 here. Um, play like Rook D1 or Rook C1. Goes A5. Okay, logical. I think he wants A4. Now, I can play A4 too. I can also go A3 or Bishop D4. I kind of want to go Rook HC1. Then A4, B4, A3 doesn't look wonderful. I mean, I can play A3, but then the pawns with A3. Bishop A6. 
No, it doesn't look right. I have bishop a... No, bishop a3. There's probably some rook d2, knight e4. So, a4 softens b4 and creates a weakness. Doesn't really do much. a4, I should not be that worried about. So, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right, it's five plus five plus one. So, I, I don't need to panic and lose my mind just yet. Um... I think I'm just going to play solid. Just like Rook C1, A4, Bishop D4, and who cares? I'm playing against a one-week pawn on C6 here. We'll see if I can actually use the weakness or not. But I'm just going to play against the one weakness. Um, okay, Bishop B7 doesn't look right to me. Um, mainly because I can double... You can also play now I can maybe play a3 because I, I don't think you bishop a6 is an idea anymore I really want to go bishop a3 somewhere but it doesn't work and he just wants to go back to b6 okay I guess I'll go here I, I actually I don't know what I'm doing I, I don't have a good plan 10 minutes left in the portion so probably one more game Hmm. Okay, now he goes A4. Interesting. What was my... Initially, I wanted to play Bishop D4. That's right. That, I, initially, if he played A4, I wanted to go Bishop D4. But now he inverted with Bishop B7, Rook C2. So now I, I don't guard the Rook anymore. Hmm. I don't like... Can I go here, takes and takes? Bishop E6... Bishop a6, bishop c4, rook d2, king d2. So b4, a3, b4, a3, bishop a3, rook a3, b c5, bishop c5, bishop b6, fe6, rook c5, bishop a6, king e1. Should be fine. b4, a3, bishop a3, rook a3, b c5. Bishop c5, bishop b6, fe6, rook c5, fine. Bishop e3, bishop f7, king f7, fe3, bishop a6, king f2. I'm still up a pawn, probably a draw. So I'm thinking about this, 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 takes, takes, check here, or this, 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 takes, 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 check, king up to a knight of three. And I'm up a pawn, probably can't win, but there's no risk of losing. That's why I'm thinking about this very hard here. Um, B4, A3 takes, there's no knight, rook D2, rook D2, knight E4, rook D3, nothing, or rook D7. Knight e4, takes knight c5. b4, a3, takes knight e4, takes rook a3. Knight c5 is fine. b4, a3, takes, 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 takes. Bishop c5, bishop b4, bishop b3 is fine. Okay, let's go for it. After all those arrows, I might as well just play. Oh! <laughs> ah, and right on cue, I spent all that time, and he doesn't even do it. That, that's, by the way, that's the single... And I messed this up, actually. I, I messed it up. That's actually the single worst feeling in chess, by the way is when you do a long calculation and then your opponent immediately plays something completely different. That is easily the single worst feeling when you play over the board chess with like slow controls. Like you spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes calculating a line and then your opponent immediately plays something different and you feel like a total idiot for doing that. Um, go F3, I guess. I don't have to. I could have played Rook C1 because takes Rook G1 might have been good, but whatever, who cares? That's the, easily the worst feeling in chess. You you go, you do all your errors, you calculate a long line, and the guy plays something else immediately. Like, why did I just play that move in five seconds? If I had known he was going to play knight to seven, I would have played b4 instantly. Um, so let's attack the, the tower here. I don't know if that's a good move. Actually, I think that's a very bad move. He's got knight to... Okay, but who cares? Just move. Go back to b2 and play chess gonna go knight d7 hit the pawn and drop back guard the pawn and the show goes on i'm moving way too slowly again but that's why i like 5-1 because 5-1 is the exact opposite 5-1 is the one where you actually use your time in a way that's similar as to like rapid and or classic maybe not classical but rapid at least because even though i'm down a minute here the position i can just with the increment it's very easy to play so we're in, we're in an end game again and as i said like there is that there is that former former world chess champion 
Cagnus Marlson, who seems to win all those end games. So might as well try to imitate him. I've heard that he's pretty good at chess. Um, let's go here. Target the knight and take. Actually, I saw a really funny comment on the chess.com tweet the other day. Let's go here, hit the night. Where basically someone someone made the joke. They said that now that you've won the SEC five times, you have the right to basically not play it again. Basically uh, referring to Magus, who's a five-time world champion. Um, essentially making the joke that Magus is he's five time, he can just like not play the cycle anymore. And that like basically since I've won the SEC five times, I could do the same thing where it's like I don't have to play anymore. I could be like, I'm not gonna play unless I play against like Ali Reza or something. Um do I go e4 here? I don't really like e4, but I think it's a decent move to play. I'm actually down a lot of time, but it's an end game. And I can always simplify and make the draw, which is also why I'm not panicking at all. I'm creating the classic chain of three. I really, we're down to five and a half minutes. I really don't like the strategy from, um, from Yu Yang Yi, to be honest. Okay, let's go h4. He'll play like, okay, let's draw it back. If he takes, I take knight g3, I have king f2. I have to be careful of these tricks, though. But takes here and here and here, and I just win. Maybe I have rook c4 in here, too. I think I have rook c4, which... Actually, I should have played rook c4 here, because with e4, there's no bishop d5. Stupid. Me. I mean, me. Probably it's not anything special anyway, but it's, a, it's an idea, at least. Maybe I have knight c4 here, too, to go knight b6. Like, knight c4, knight b3 takes. Actually, knight c4 is a very serious idea here. This is very serious now. I think Yugi's in a little bit of trouble. The knight, has, the knight is kind of boxed here, and there are all kinds of fossils with knight e5 and knight d6. Knight b3, I just take a4. It's actually kind of scary, I think, for Yugi now. This is actually maybe very scary. I'm sure a computer would laugh at me and say you play any random move and you're fine. But to a human, at least, this looks very dangerous. Because knight b6 is a massive threat here to overload everything on the c file. Oh, um. Let's just trade and go check, I guess. I'm, I'm, I, there might have been something better, but I think this is correct. And now I've got the chain. He's got ugly pawns, bad bishop. This should be pretty cleanly winning for me, I think. Oh, I could have taken... No, a4 is rook a8. His bishop is just... He's got a bum bishop on him. Let's go here. I'm going to go after the bishop. I think he's losing his bishop here, basically. Yeah, I, I think he's actually just losing the bishop. I couldn't play it right away because there was a check. Yeah, I think I just win. And this is why you play end games like Magnus Carlsen. Uh, because at the end of the day, wait. Go here, cut off the bishop. Yeah, no bishop a6 here, no, no counterplay. Let's go here. Oh, let's take the pawn. He's just got a bum bishop on c8. He's just got a dead bishop that can't go anywhere. Yeah, let's just go. He just can't do anything. His bishop is just dead. He's got a dead bishop, and we win. Time for one more game. We're up by three. Now the train is rolling. Now, now we're back on track. Um, let's just keep being solid here. No need to be silly. Let's just let's just stick to the routine and be solid. I thought I was fine in that last game, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I, I thought I was fine. Okay. I mean, I thought I was fine. Like, am I really am I really so bad at chess? Like, my intuition tells me this position after king h8 is completely fine. Oh, it goes knight d2. Okay, so he changes up the order. Uh, I could play h6 g5 and get really, really cheeky and aggressive. Actually, knight d2 is a good move. Knight d2 is a very good move to play f4. Actually, that 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 is how you should play this. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, ah, whatever. Let's just have fun. Let's go after him. I'm going to play g5 here and attack. Although he could go e3, maybe. Then maybe knight g6. Not a great position. I think my rating is back to even as well, right? Because I started 32. Was I 32, 86 or 82? I don't remember. I'm almost back to even though on rating, which is also nice. Actually, rating is where I expect Magnus and myself 
to feast. Uh, maybe not. It's going to be tough for me because after this match, I don't have any easy matches. Like, I get Fabiano. Um, but maybe this is where, like, Magus and myself, we should be trying to feast on these, these players who are slightly low rated. Because this is, like, Magus and I have a big chance to get our ratings, ratings nice and plump, plump and juicy, over 3,300. Uh, but whether we can or not is a, is a big question. I don't even know why I played Knight G Well, I guess, I mean, I want G3 here, F4, take 6, F5. I was going to go G3, Knight, B6, and Bishop, H3, but I just realized that after this, 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 there's going to be some Queen, H5 nastiness incoming. Plays A4, which I don't like. Um, I don't like that. I think I'm just going to ignore this. Because A4 can become a weakness in an endgame. He pushes A5 and I go F5. I don't know what why he's pushing P on this side of the board. And now I'm also starting to get up on the clock again. So starting to find the groove, the rhythm. Mastering the tempo, as, as they would say in Indonesia. So I played A4, A3, B4, B3, right? I played, we've played seven games and I've had four whites. So next set of games, I need to remember to play C4. Because C4 is explosive. Um, yeah, I had a feeling it was going to go F4 sooner or later, but... Okay, but now I've got the 40-second lead, so this is where I want to make sure that I don't lose my mind. Um, could play... Eh, F5 looks wrong. Uh, F5 takes, 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 95 maybe. Could also just trade and go F5. Takes, takes, 95. Queen, H5. Queen, G5. Probably balanced. Takes, 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 F5, takes, takes, Bishop, G3, takes, takes, 95. Probably reasonable, but not what I really want to play. I could also just take, take, and go 95 like this. I could also trade and play like Queen, G5, maybe. Takes, 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 takes here. Rook, F7, takes, takes, 95. Bishop, B3, Bishop, G4. I know if it works, but I'm going to do it. I, I'm, I'm ahead in the match, so I kind of feel like I'm going to take a chance here with Queen G5. I'll give him Rook F7. And if he goes Rook F5, I just go back, and I hit him with Knight E5 and a clean fossil. So, actually, Rook F5, maybe I even have check in Knight E5. But at any rate, if he takes, 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 I get Knight E5, Bishop G4, and I go for the big attack. Don't know if it's good, but I'm ahead by, I'm ahead by three points, so I feel good. Ah, but now he gets Knight F3. That's not what I wanted. Maybe I can go knight f6. Maybe I have knight b6 as well. Nah, knight, I, I don't really want to play knight e5, but I think it's the best best move, so let's do it. Yeah. Let's play this end game. Since I'm up by three, I feel like taking some ch chance and some liberties. Let's look at his face in the cam. Again, no visible reaction. Yeah, no visible reaction from Yu Yang Yi. I'm looking at his face. No visible reaction, which is interesting. Because I'm giving him a chance to take two rooks for a queen. Now, two towers generally not worth as much as a queen. Or generally worth more. But I've actually had quite a few uh, end games over the years against Fabuno Karuna, the famous American Grandmaster. And Fabiano, he actually really likes getting the two... He likes getting the queen. I feel like I've had like three or four end games against him where he's had the queen and I've had the two rooks. And he's drawn most of those games very easily. So... Um, Fabiano always likes a queen more than two towers. So we're going to get it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go for it. I'm just kind of curious whether this is good or bad. Since I'm up by three points, I don't mind taking the risk. I'm assuming the pawn chain is a little bit soft here. That's also why I'm, why I'm, I think I'm okay playing this. There's a weak pawn. I can create past P on the queen side. Structure a little bit weak here with this box. So I don't know if this is actually good for me or not, but I'm just, I, I my, my instinct says that I should not ever really be in danger here. Um... So I think what I'm going to do is step one is I'm going to go after the pawns. I'm going to go for the infiltration. I got to avoid the kebabs on the seventh. If I can avoid the kebab, um, let's go here. I feel like I need to keep an eye on this pawn. I need to push the P and try to get a pass pawn on the queen side. That's what I feel like the right play is. I'm sure this is still a draw, but I, I don't think I can ever really be losing. Okay, A5 makes perfect sense. Fix the weakness here. It was rook F7. Interesting. So... But he's not threatening to take, is he? I can also go d5 here, maybe. Wait, 
Wait, but d5 to... No, I think I'm going to go d5 here. So I have queen d4 with the classic pyramid of Giza. If he takes with a C pawn, I get check. If he takes this one, I have check to hit everything as well. Close take. He can't get a pass pawn now either. So my assumption is this pass pawn is going to be a real issue for him. And if I get to take some pawns here, I could win the game. I definitely could win this game. Yeah, king h1 good move i think um i can take and go c actually this is very interesting if i take and go c3 what is i'm gonna go for this it's getting very scary i have c3 and queen b2 and he's got to deal with a lot of weak pawns here all over the board uh but maybe he can just go rook f1 uh he's got rook f1 maybe and it's still a draw uh yeah it's still probably a draw with rook f7 whatever let's go for it anyway c3 a little bit committal too though because now he can get a pass pawn but i'm assuming my pawn on c3 is very advanced and i have a chance to win taking a look at the can we get some idea of what his facial facial expressions are normally i would never play like this by the way i would never i would never play this whole situation with the queen versus the two rooks but i'm kind of curious to see whether the rooks are actually better than the queen or the queen's better because my intuition says that the queen is better than the two rooks um of course i take he can line up the double stack or castle mania as michelle care would call it on the seventh rank but i do have queen d4 actually do what what am i doing queen z2 probably is a draw probably being the keyword but it's also kind of risky to play i mean queen z2 is just a draw for sure for sure white has a draw in the bag um at the very least i feel like queen d4 takes okay i'm gonna try i, I want to try i'm up by three points i feel like I, I should try to win this unless oh can he force it no he can't force a draw okay so i have queen f6 here i also have a4 the key is somehow i need to keep both these pawns alive to try and win but can i probably not really Okay, I'm gonna go a4. Oh, did I just want a rookie four? Oh wait, that might be a mistake. Eh. Yeah, I missed this. Now I think I have to lock him in the box with h5, h4. Probably. Let's just lock him in the box. Or did I just blunder again? Oh no, did I just blunder? I guess I have a draw with queen e5, queen e1, actually. Queen e5 takes, check, check is still a draw. Okay, so I still keep the window of a draw. I can play queen f4 to try and win, but I think that's just insane to do. So let's go here. Yeah, after takes, I mean, I just have to make a draw. I've got a minute. Oh, time is out, right? Time's just out. So yeah, time's out, so let's just make the draw. No need to waste time. Yeah, game's a draw. All right, pretty good stuff. We're up by three at the end of the um, at the end of the portion. Pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Can't complain. Uh, can't complain about it. I mean, it's not. You know, actually, I want to see was this good or not. Let's see. Ah, so computer thinks this was okay. I was supposed to go queen e five, not queen d two. Computer gives black a small advantage. So my, my intuition was right. The queen was better than the two rooks. I mean, of course, of course, the queen is better than two towers. Duh. What kind of stupid question is that? Um, D5 was okay, but now it's just zeros here. Wow, just zeros the whole way after this. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I know the game that I lost on time was winning. I'm aware of that, you guys. But yeah, it's pretty good stuff. We're up by three as we move to three plus one yeah still pretty good though pretty good all right so i think we're on the break right it's now an eight minute break so yeah i mean everybody would prefer pokemon to two tower well okay let's be careful what we say but anyway you get the point of what i'm saying all right um so yeah i'm gonna take a short break and we'll be back um be back in a second i think but it is what it is yeah bro's locking you in in jail bro's locking you in jail so you can look at him forever yeah we are, we're on an eight minute break here 
Yeah, I mean, maybe there was something better. I don't know. Queen e5. Rook f1, f queen d4. King h1, queen b2. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, um, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, so. Uh, I guess Rook c1, b6 is good, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to take a break, and we will be right back, you guys. Give me a second. 